Hello, everybody. Welcome back to this DCS Liberation Campaign uh, for the Syria map. So, uh, we are on mission number 11 today. It is 2 a.m. local time. Uh, we do have scattered clouds above, but no rain or fog. But it will be a night mission. Uh, hard to get away from these sometimes. Uh, my tasking today is to provide uh, bar cap above top cap uh, to help support uh, the area, but also to support the front line here or this eastern front uh, that is. Uh, actually, I have some A-10s flying in to help with that effort over there. Uh, the unfortunate thing is, is uh, Palmeria here has 10 SU-30s that we have to deal with. So I only got a two ship F-16. Uh, so we'll have to see how this plays out. <laughs> but if they take off, if all those SU-30s come at us, um, yeah, it's gonna be hard to take them all out. So that is uh, today's mission, at least for me. Uh, other than that, the more majority of flights today are just cap flights, cap flights, cap flights, cap flights. And I do have a single strike going on. Uh, try to hit Al Assad again. I do have a single ship F-16 flying in uh, with another single ship F-16 as escort <laughs> to help get in there and uh, hit that runway and take it out. That is pretty much it today. And just the one cast flight, uh, the front line here are on their own uh, to help take this FOB. And hopefully they can do that. Um, I don't have a lot of ground units anymore. Uh, I think, uh, let's look at our statistics. Uh, our aircraft were pretty dead even, um, and they are taking a lead. But yeah, we're only sitting around, what, 45, 48 ground units total. So it's pretty difficult with the amount of resources we don't have. <laughs> um, so I still have to talk to Congress, see if we can get a correct congressional plus up uh, to help support this war. Uh, we'll see how that works out. Okay, uh, so enough said. Let us uh, jump in the, the Viper and get take and take off here, and, um, and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, see you in a sec. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Here we are, sitting in the Viper. Flag. I'll start it up in a line. This bird is ready to go. As you can see, my arm in today, I got uh, five AMRAMs, one Sidewinder uh, X model. Two bags, and I do have a uh, combination pod on the belly. So it's going to jump to fit here. Uh, let's go up and call Insurrect to get um, press the taxiway. One, one. Request taxi to runway. Might be a little bit, probably have a busy little runway going on here. Uh, but I need to get on station call quick. One. Well, there we go. <laughs> Alright, runway zero 05. Okay. We're on cap three. For a little bit. Go ahead and arm that seat now that we're outside of that hangar. Anyways, I was saying uh, we need to get on station pretty quick here. Uh, we got some A-10s coming in to do that cast flight and they have zero cover. And we have an airport with lots of um, SU-30s, so definitely need to get on station. SU-30s are always formidable, so hopefully we can do our best. Yeah, so for these night missions, I'm turning up the gamma a little bit, uh, help with the lighting. Uh, also. Uh, all right, a little bit non-game stuff, but use the, uh, the OBS, which I'm using to record this. Uh, if you turn on the color dynamics, just the limited rather than full, uh, it helps out with the lighting uh, for night visions, and I can turn that back to full for the day missions. So hopefully the night missions a little more enjoyable. Uh, but I like the higher gamma at night. I like the nights where you can see a little bit with the pretty moon and the clouds. Looks like AWACS is getting started up over there. We will need you, sir.
There's my tech hand there that you're hearing. You can turn that down. So potentially we could divert to Topka, uh, at least to rearm and refuel. Uh, we'll see how the game plays out here. Uh, if there's still aircraft up in the air, um, might have to do that. Because uh, I think we're the only sortie that's going to be in the area uh, protecting those units. At least we should be on station there, uh, as long as those A-10s are around playing. Get up a little bit closer. Looks like this jet's all configured. Gonna put on both. Monster of the guard channel. Alright, let's go ahead. Yep, looks AWAX is coming out and taxi. Try to just do a max power takeoff, no afterburner. T is probably using afterburner. Don't hit me. Yeah, it's gonna rotate. Come on, there we go. This rick has a very long runway, you can do that. And we got some floaties. Not sure what those are all about. Alright, so we got a little jaunt here to uh, waypoint one, 177 miles. Let me go ahead and uh, hit pause while we do the climb out and, uh, and then fly out to waypoint one. I'll see you in just a minute. Alright, welcome back. So th we're still on our way inbound here to waypoint one to protect those A-10s, but things are getting a little interesting here off to, our, uh, to the south. As you can see, we have a uh, number of jets, or a number of bandits and hostiles uh, over that uh, central front. <laughs> and a pair of F-15s engaging, so uh, hopefully they're all right. I'm not going to go help them, because our job is to protect these A-10s. Uh, but they may come after us here. Teams have taken off, so they're at 3,000 feet right now, so yeah. Go master 
spot there. Those F-15s are still up. Oh man, they're hurt. Buddy Spike, 27. Thirties. They're down low. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to watch out in the attack view here. Turning into their falling in. Thirties up. I think we lost those fifteens. Ouch. Engaging the 15.
right, so we've got SA2 and SA8. This area, and a couple hostiles coming in at 28,000 feet. And bullseye 074 at 114. Right, they're ignoring the A-10s. For now. Tens are splitting up, so they're probably doing business. Nice. It's got to be a planet. Venus? Mercury? Are planets simulated in DCS? That'd be cool if it was.
222 at 60. Alright, they're, they're going hot. Uh, 221460 at 27,000 cuts. Of course, they got the SA2 site helping them out. Taking that left one. Two, Get me a little bit closer. All right, I say two's launched. Gimbal. Defeated those missiles. One's still in the air, but it's safe to turn back in. Alright, we got a couple other bandits inbound. Off for 12 o'clock here. Dump those bags just yet. Right job. Oh, 
think I got any of those kills. I think two got them both. Yep, that's okay. A-10s are still playing. Good job. There. Oh crap, I got let him get way too close. Too close. Splash. Counter. Not happy. God damn it.
left. Right down fuel, 5,800 pounds. Counter, altitude, altitude. Alright, three engage startles me. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> I didn't realize we had some bandits off my left side there. That's who launched on me. Damn it! Ah! Oh. That's alright. Gotta kill in. Protect those A-10s. I'm sure they're going home. Alright, I'm gonna watch this through a little bit and I'll see you in debrief. Uh, I wish I would not have died, but... Well, it's all good. They were SC-30s. On hard, on hard settings. Okay, I'll see you in just a minute. Hello and welcome back everybody. Um, here are the results of that mission. I did follow it through and nothing was really happening. So we had to shut her down at the hour mark. Uh, so for the stats today, uh, 21 aircraft were lost. Um, I think uh, two actually got away and those A-10s were actually got away too. So it's a good thing we were in there for the, the cap support. Uh, 11 frontline units were destroyed. Uh, seven ground objects destroyed and no base capture events so that too bad we didn't get that fob all right so let's go ahead and accept the results see what the damage was today i think we lost a little bit we lost one tomcat two eagles and we lost my uh f-16 viper <laughs> i got shot down no bueno uh they lost five fulcrums uh and uh, five flankers and four mig-23s and three brockfoot so excellent um you know Good job us taking out um, a lot of their flights and a whole lot of frontline units. Uh, we didn't lose any frontline, thank goodness. All right, let's go ahead and say OK. Just want to confirm we're still on the uh, hard hard, right? Yeah, still on high high. Uh, yeah, we are. OK, so <laughs> it's like it's uh, weird that we're not seeing uh, an equal uh, match. So but I'll take it because we need the money. <laughs> we need the money a lot. All right, so that was a pretty good mission, uh, even though I freaking got smoked. Let me go ahead and save this, and let, I'll see you when we get to TAC View here. Give me one second. All right, welcome to TAC View. Here we are. You can see a bunch of 15s are taking off ahead of us while we're getting the jet all warmed up in the line. Uh, me and two are taxiing now. Wax starting to pull out there. Yep. And all those scuds come running, that raining down. <laughs> Pretty cool. Pretty long ferry in there is about 170 miles. Um, so most of that I paused out so you didn't see. But when we started getting those bandits in the area, um, those F-15s were on station, but. I was debating whether or not to engage, and I'm glad I didn't because um, once we got on station, uh, those 
SC-30s would have engaged our um, A-10s. So me and my wingman were able to keep them at bay, even though I lost my life. My virtual life. Fifteen's getting all serious and tango on these guys. Yeah, they did a good job. Look at that. Wow, they smoked all those SC-30s and MiG-23s in the area. Good job of them. Then we lost one F-15 there, and then that second one goes down. That's too bad. Probably because they're out of money, or money, uh, missiles. Here's those A-10s coming up on the front line. Yep, they're starting to engage. Fantastic. Gonna slow down just a little bit here. I was taking a position of Keith Dust and those uh, SC-30s. They're doing a great job. Look at them. I love A-10s. So we were definitely in the SA-2, kept launching on this. So me and a wingman were firing. Oh, look, that SA-2 was launching. <laughs> invaded one, invaded the next one. So my wingman took out both those planes. I launched, but I didn't get any hits. This guy was sneaking up on us. That's the one that was didn't realize it was right behind our butt. I was, I was like, oh crap, turned in on him. Fired on my wingman, I fired on him. Wingman took him out. And these guys were engaging us. SA-2 is launching again. We gotta take out the SA-2, man. These guys were up high, I fired on both. I could not lock that le the left guy up. I was trying and trying, he fired on me. It's disengaging. He was engaging. Oh, that's the guy that smoked me. Yeah, I was trying to get these guys locked up. Lost track of this guy over here. And by that time, our A-10s were already uh, leaving airspace. And two was as well. So they were well protected. Here comes two. I think he landed a top gun. So over that, other than that, it's a pretty good mission. Uh, let's go ahead and back up just a little bit. There's some uh, Harriers on the west coast that do follow. Yeah, these guys are coming in to do a little strike. see these guys. You can see he had no cap support. And that F-16 never made it in to hit that airport, so it's still open with all the MiG-29s. <laughs> These guys are softening up these targets pretty good. Surprised they didn't get shot down because they were in pretty, pretty damn close. Taking fire. That was it. That was uh, when I called it quits. All right. Well, everybody, I want to thank you again for joining me. I uh, wish I didn't get shot down, but it is what it is. And plus, it makes probably for a better video because you can watch me die. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. Well, I'll see you next time. We're going to be on mission number 12. I'm um, going to go ahead and retask and um, use up all that money we got, right? So, okay. I will see you next time. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.